Imagine the following scenario. You are a student and you really want to learn how to make amazing VR applications and experiences, but you don't know how to code, you don't know about game engines and Unity and stuff like this, and um, you really don't know the roadmap for how to get into the field and stuff like this. What do we do? Well, Jasper from Changemaker Educations reached out to me and asked me if I can yeah, teach his students in a short amount of time how to create amazing VR applications. The challenge of all of this was that we only had two weeks. So in this video, I really want to show you what is possible within two weeks if you are dedicated and um, really want to push through it. And we will see nine amazing applications that have been created in November 2021 during the workshop and I'm super super proud of the uh, of my students of course and the amazing results they have achieved it's it's really really cool if you are in a similar situation and you really want to know how to create amazing AI and VR applications and maybe you are also a student you want to create a dedicated workshop where me and my team we will help you on the hand how to exactly do it and create your first portfolio application then of course check out the link in the description or just text me on LinkedIn or wherever you find me and we can get and do something like this as well. And now enjoy the experiences. There we go. Let's start with the first application. And we see already, okay, we have a nice environment, super relaxing and have a good focus on the music. This is really cool. So meditation. Let's center ourselves. Feel your body. Move around. Take a long, deep breath. Now. You know, it's really cool when you try out these applications. You hear the fire from the right side, actually. Which is super interesting. And we can just move around a little bit. Counting. Super calming voice, I love it. Super super nice, I would highly recommend it that you just check it out for yourself because um, it's really hard to transfer the feeling, but that goes for all applications. So let me see. And there we go, now we have the next one. Wonderful! Thanks a lot for uh, creating this beautiful application here with the very calming sounds and uh, voices. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, we see we have a Christmas game and uh, we have to hear the sounds. Um, yeah, we have to hear where the sounds are coming from, basically, which I think is really hard for you watching right now because um, you don't have the um, atmospheric sound like I have in VR because I can now really hear that the sound is coming from there and there we go that's the source we just get it super cool the hands working really well fits very natural and as far as I know I have to dab it put it in there and now I can hear the next one it's coming from there yeah I can even see it already but it's really really cool so now I have it like this of course it works and now I hear it from my left ear and let me just give it yeah and now it's like on full blast mode I think you can also hear it uh, let me just take it uh, uh, and bring it over there I think the next one is over there so let's see Oh my god, super cool mechanic. That feels very nice actually. And it also works like this. Super super cool. That is a very nice mechanic. And let me just get it. Whoa. Oh, that's a huge tree. <laughs> okay, let's get it to the other side. Really cool, super cool game, super cool mechanic. And can you believe this has been built within just a couple of weeks? Super, super, super nice. Yeah, great Christmas feeling. Wonderful, yeah. Up to the next one. 
And the next one is called Escape It. So really, really lovely um, environment here. Lots of detail. Super cool. And um, I assume that I have to get through the door. And I see already there is a puzzle. I have to get these two things uh, in the bridge. And since I've played the game one time already, I can spoil it already. I think we find them. Yeah, there we go. One is here. And in this one, I think um, I gave the feedback already, but I would love to move a little bit faster. Not as fast as the IKEA simulator, maybe. Chip. Super cool, nice mechanic. Very nicely done. I think the other one was somewhere around here. And that, let me see. Now it should snap. Yeah, wonderful. What does it say? The dwarf queen needs king needs his treasure. Okay, let's find some treasure. And as we know, it should somewhere be around here, I guess. Let's see. Oh, we have some nice sounds. That is beautiful. Oh shit! I killed my chair, I guess. And yeah, I can even hear the grass I'm walking on. Really, really nice. Lots of small details. And. Da -da! Level 1 completed! You still don't suck! <laughs> That's nice, next level. And let, how does it work? Ah, oh, yeah! Did you really think we had time for another level? <laughs> uh, I hope you can hear the music. It should be very familiar. And the scene should be also familiar. Nice one. Okay, now I'll stop. That would be a nice level, actually. I'm pretty sure there is a Squid Game VR game. <laughs> Alright, really cool. Super, super nice. Alright, here we have the next one and hear some really scary music already. And I think it's, yeah, it's supposed to be a maze and wonderful. I looked around. I think something scary is supposed to happen at first. I know there were some issues with this one regarding the physics, so I'm just going to jump again basically and see if I can find. Oh, yeah, there we have a button that you should press. Something like this. But again, since that is just been created in a couple of days, I think that is um, pretty good already for that stage. You see, there is a key. Yeah, there are some issues with the physics still, but just around this one. But we have a plan landing over here, the sun, and still no way out of this uh, maze over here. But um, again, we have to get the physics first and then we can uh, make a proper game of this one. But places uh, for you quite well already. Alright, so IKEA simulator. Well, that, I guess it means I should build some IKEA furniture. Oh, I can move really fast. That's also super interesting, like how different the locomotion systems are. Like here I'm pretty fast. Let me just get uh, one of these legs. Okay, I think I have to use the right one. And then I guess it belongs over here. Okay, maybe that's a little bug, I guess. Ah, yeah. So maybe that one, that leg was supposed to be for this one. The next one. Yes, and there we go. Okay, that's. Uh, I mean, I wish I could build IKEA tables like this for real. Uh, that would be pretty nice. And now. Yes, so there is some defiling over going on, but. Never mind, it's a pretty nice table. Let me take a seat. Yeah, that works. That's nice. Oh, and a nice uh, screen. So the screen is a good size also. Really cool. That gives me a good feeling. Okay, let's get another one. Let's get another table. Yeah, I think if I take this one, should it, is it still working? Oh yeah, then it just snaps back to... This one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we have to ask the developers. This one perhaps. Oh, that one maybe belongs here. Hmm. <laughs> I 
think there's a snapping issue. But that works fine. Three legs are enough for the table. And now let's just get this one here. And I think you can also build the other shelf by yourself. I'm trying out the application. Oh god. I broke something. <laughs> Better get out of here. Oh yeah. There's a Oh, I'm ah, interesting, I'm spawning these now. Very nice environment by the way, looks really cool. It is a bit uh, unsmooth, like if I move my head, maybe you can see it also. Um, that the FPS is not super duper stable but we have a big ball <laughs> and we have a bunch of small balls I will just take this one now and push this one I think I have to push hey, it take it easy, I was sleeping man oh it's talking to me that's nice I think I have to oh yeah but I don't know how exactly There we go, now I can throw it in. Of course, I've played it one time already, so I don't have to figure out all not the hole again, please. Not the hole. No, no, not the hole. No. Oh man, I love the effects. They look so cool, seriously. Super, super nice. I think now, as far as I remember, I can go up these stairs. And there we go. Oh, now it's a different scenario. And I'm pretty sure I have to do the same again. So let's get started. All right, let's throw it in. Oh, maybe it wasn't the correct one. <laughs> oh no, is it correct? Oi. Yeah, it's this one. All right, let's get it in there. Just push. Oh no, now they are stuck. I'm also stuck. Oh, can I die? Oh, oh, oh. I'm respawning, but I think I broke the game. <laughs> Developers, let me know in the comments if I broke the game by first throwing in this big thing and then this one. I mean, that's not how it's supposed to be, but technically I should go up there and then um, it should be done. Let me know, try it out. I will put a download link for all the games, of course, in the description. But um, yeah, really looking forward to see some future iterations of these games. It will be super, super, super cool. The next one is called Crash and Burn. <laughs> Welcome to Voynich, a small Russian city that has been taken over by electric scooters. <laughs> Use the joysticks to move around, press grip to pick up a scooter, press grip plus trigger to break a scooter. Okay, I think the developer didn't like scooters, I guess. <laughs> so I can pick it up. Okay, that fits interesting. And now I can, I think I can break it. Oh yeah! So the whole purpose of this application is breaking scooters. They are also not liked in Berlin, so people also throw them in the street and stuff like this. But let me see. Can I actually also drive them? I don't think so. Oh, I have to grab it. Almost like this. Let's get them to the fire and see what happens. Oh, if something is happening. Whoa, oh, there are some crazy physics going on. Let me throw it in the trash. Oh yeah, can I still get it? No, now it's dead. So if anyone doesn't like scooters, this is definitely your application. You really wanna check it out. Let's kill this. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, <laughs> nice fire actually. Nice environment. Feels lovely. And lots of scooters to throw around. Whee! 
And we have another Christmas themed game. Oh, I think something happened in the door. Sounds kind of scary, like outside things. Can I? Mm. Sounds like there is a monster outside <laughs> that wants to eat cookies. Let's see. Can I throw? Whoa! There was a physics glitch. I was just moving really fast in some direction. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, holy crap, there's some shooting. That sounds scary. Can I take this? No. Uh, no, it's one. And I think that's, yeah, that's a radio. Oh, nice! There's some music in the radio. Oh, so cool. And if I go away, it fades out. Maybe it's a very quiet radio. And now I hear it from the right side. The special audio is real. Yeah. But the shooting is kind of creepy, to be honest. It's a bit scary. Okay, let's cheat and see how the environment looks. I know I'm not supposed to do this. But what happens? Okay. To do the cheat, you have to move from that space, and then go here, and then. Ah, if you're ever curious how these things are built up, now you can see it. Yeah, really cool. And uh, I would say that's all we can do here. Otherwise, please, developer, tell me. I love the fire effect. It's super cool. And the shooting, but it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Yeah, nice little uh, low poly fire effects. Wonderful! Alright, and now we can check out the last experience. This, by the way, is the only PC VR game that we have, and we see already we can bump it up with a lot more power. And how do I, do I have to push something here? I don't know. Maybe it's. Oh, it's. Oh my god! That looks pretty creepy, but looks really nice. I don't have any sounds, unfortunately. But that looks like a crazy good environment and um, really high fidelity. I love it. I'm not gonna just go down. This is also something that you just have to experience yourself. So if you have a VR device, please, please, please just go and play by yourself because, yeah, this uh, environment looks crazy real. Oh my god. How did you manage to get it so smooth? That is also really, really nice. And that could be a pretty good horror game, <laughs> to be honest. Really nice. Um, I don't know if it's the application or if it's um, my device, but I don't hear anything in this. But wow. And props to my PC, who is dying right now, <laughs> to be able to render all of that stuff. And if I, ah, I have to slide, and then it goes open. Yeah, there, were, there was a sound, so I could hear the door, and this is super creepy. Oh my god. That would be a really, really nice horror game. And I'm getting goosebumps already. Jurassic Park? And something else I cannot read. And this thing looks, looks not so nice. Okay, let's move on and see. Oh, that's a huge code. And I think, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, oof. I hope that there are no jump scares in here. Oh, I can also teleport. Ah, I can teleport as well. Okay, nice. That is cool. I honestly, I'm the person that prefers teleportation over this locomotion, to be honest. And I'm at the end already. Oh yeah, there's one button. Let me just press it. Nice texture. Something happening. I'm, I'm kind of afraid that there is some jump scare coming now. I hope there is not, but I think there is nothing else to do except for really. Oh oh, I fell. I fell into the machine. 
Mm. I think that is a physics glitch. And oh, now I also fell out of environment. <laughs> yeah, that's a VR classic that happens so often. But beautiful skybox. It just really gets it to the emotions as well with this um, spaceship environment and uh, very, very, very nice. Yeah, also looking forward for this one for some uh, future iterations. I hope you are working on these. And yeah, thank you. Oh, now I hear something. When I pause the game. That is super interesting. Yeah, now I hear something. I don't know. What the hell? Okay, never mind. I will try it again at some point with some other headset, not the Quest. And then we can see um, if it's my device or something else. But yeah, really, really nice also.